one thing I want to say before this video starts I just realized I lost over a hundred pounds from my highest weight to the weight I'm about to tell y'all Lego hey guys it's me Tina Marie with Tina's world this video is actually my update on my VHG you'll probably hear the kids because they're eating right now um, but I want to give you guys a quick update on my VSG because today is the 12th and I hit my four months on the 10th and I wanted to update y'all let y'all know how it's going and how last month went so I think last month we finished up at 214 is where I was and y'all I kind of plateaued at that point like it was such a draining past three weeks like I've cried I've been upset I've been to the point like forget all this you know I had surgery and I'm never gonna get under 200 and I, I was just like all over the place but I want to thank God for a few of my VSG sisters y'all have really stood up and really helped me especially trying to get snatched she walked me through some steps that really helped me and got my weight loss going again um this past week and y'all when I tell you it took off okay it was like take off okay it was like take off like whoo y'all y'all let me tell you how much I weigh so just so you guys know Flo is in the building so y'all know that always fluctuates you too but um today I weighed in at 207 yay so I'm 207 pounds so that means I lost seven pounds last month I am so excited because <laughs> I told y'all I plateaued for like three weeks nothing happened I'm like okay I'm drinking 64 ounces of water I am exercising 10,000 steps a minimum why is nothing working anymore it just felt like I was stuck um, and one thing that she told me is increase your water because you're you might need more water now so I increased my water um, I actually did something CNC TV said which is the intermittent fasting so now I'm intermittent fasting um, without the coffee just so you guys know so I'm intermittent fasting um, and just drinking water all the way up until about noon um, and I incorporated more steps I talked to the people in my step group I told them like you know how important this group has been for me and um, how much you know they really have helped me with my weight loss why is my phone going off how much they really helped me with my weight loss um, so they said they were going to step it up and we stepped it up this week like crazy so the steps are a lot higher now um, and we're working a lot harder like I'm averaging now 16,000 steps a day yay so my steps have increased this week I'm actually starting to do what boho guru does um, if you don't check her out on um, IG check her out she has this whole weekly worth of workout she's doing so I'm going to be doing those but in home so that way I can do them while the kids are asleep or the kids are napping um, and then I can have my workouts done at home because y'all know when I get back to work because I work six days a week that I have to get up extra early to exercise so I work I wait I work I wake up about between 4:45 and 5 and then I get my entire workout done between 4:45 um, all the way up until 6 a.m. when it's time to get the kids up by 6 that means everything else comes to a halt so if I woke up late that morning like 5 15 then I only can do up until that time um, my 15 minute breaks I do walk I do walk all the way up the street and back um, and that normally takes about 15 minutes so I do a 15 minutes each break take a walk and then at night I have incorporated adding an additional 40 five minutes of workout um monday through friday so it really has made a lot of changes for me by doing that and now that's gonna be my new routine and i sh i'm shaking things up with my body i'm now doing um with curly girl gets fit if you don't check her out here on yt i'll leave her information below in her ig um she's doing meatless mondays so i do meatless mondays now where on mondays i don't eat meat um so i'm doing that too and all these things they're just really starting to help and incorporate and make changes within my body and i feel good y'all i feel so so good like i haven't felt this good in a very long time so now that i'm starting to look at my body i'm starting to see what needs to change the main thing i'm starting to notice is like the kind of saggy skin so i'm really focused on my strength training at this point really making sure I get that in because I'm trying to tighten up as much as I can um, I'm really contemplating getting my whole body done <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all I'm contemplating plastics like really bad like I'm really thinking um, because we're with the same insurance company I'm gonna be able to get qualify for that surgery so I can get rid of the lower part of the stomach I'm gonna qualify for that um, so I'm thinking about getting that done of course I'm thinking about 
I know I shouldn't be saying this, a BBL, but I don't know. I, I keep going back and forth with myself about the BBL. Um, I don't like the risk of a BBL because I ain't trying to die, you know what I mean? But I really feel like I can build my butt naturally without getting a BBL, you know what I mean? I feel I really can do it because I, I have shape there. I have a butt, like I have it. It's just that it has this one flat part right here. Instead of where it bubble out, it flats. And I'm like, I don't like that. So that's what makes me want to get a BBL. But if I really worked on my, my butt up until when I'm about to have the surgery for my stomach, I think my booty will look really, really nice. So I'm gonna be doing squats every day and just having this little five minute workout I do every night. So I'm about to start incorporating that starting today. Um, so, but I've been really thinking about plastics, um, especially in my legs, doing a leg lift, but these are all down the future. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but when I do it, of course, I'm gonna get it done here in the States. I'm gonna do a lot of research, a lot of research. Um, I just don't feel comfortable going out of country to get anything done. I want to have a surgeon that's here, that's reputable, and that I trust. So that's just me. Some people want to take cheaper way out. I don't care about the price tag. I care about my life, okay? Because I'm not trying to die to have an ass. That's just being nice. You know what I mean? I'm just not. I'm not willing to die for that. It's not worth dying. It's not worth. Um, so yeah. That's that's everything I got right down for you guys. It's it's an amazing experience. I've never thought <laughs> if you'd have told me this time last year, Tina, you'll be telling people in a year you weigh almost a hundred something pounds. Like this is crazy. I'm two oh seven, guys. Like I would have never thought two oh seven, Tina. Like I was scared to be honest that I was always going to be between two seventy five and three hundred something pounds for the rest of my life or until my kids got grown and they could go out on their own and take care of themselves because their needs are the only ones I cared about. I didn't care about me. I didn't care about me. And when I look back at these pictures, like even some pictures right when I started this process and I look at them pictures like, and cause the kids take them and I'm just standing there. I'm like, wow, that's me. What? That's me. Cause I didn't see it. You know what I mean? Because I know how to pose when it's for myself, you know? But the, the random pictures your kids take of you, and you look, and you're like, oh my God, that's me. This is what everyone's seeing. I was like, wow. I, di I didn't realize it was that bad. And then when I seen pictures when I was like 300 or something, I'm like, that was me. So, I just thank God that I thank God for the surgery. Like, I don't I don't ever tell nobody go and get surgery to lose weight. I never tell nobody that. But the surgery saved my life. It actually gave me a life. And both my coworkers had it done. One had it in November, like I told you guys, she's doing great. She's looking great. Um, and then I had another uh, manager had the surgery done December 26th, y'all. And she is full of energy. When I tell you full of energy, Patty is full of energy and we didn't we haven't seen that from her in years this surgery is giving people their lives back but you you have to make the changes like I could tell y'all like around the holidays <laughs> food I did not do right by um but I've done a lot better since the new year has rang in and it's really showing on the scale y'all and i want to go over my goals really quick uh, for this upcoming month since next month i'll be five months out oh my god next month i'm gonna be five months out so my goal for my next way and when i come talk to you guys um i want to be 198 pounds so i'm speaking it out i i'm manifesting it Y'all heard it here first. When I come and give you guys the next update, I'm gonna be 198 pounds. Wonderland, baby. I'm gonna be a wonderland at the next video. Um, and my fitness goal is to do my five days a week, full body workouts, um, targeting different areas each day, but Sunday targeting the full body. Um, and my step goal is 15,000 minimum every day. Um, well monday through friday not every day because saturday and sunday y'all you could could it guys it's going to be a seven day a week thing but steps five days a week because 
I ain't keeping up with no step challenges on the weekends and the weekdays. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am super excited uh, what's to come next month. And y'all, after next month is my sixth month. And my sixth month is my birth month. So I'll be 34 years old. So to be 34 years old and be about... 189 is gonna be sick so i'm excited i am excited this is my year i'm gonna get to my ultimate goal i know i keep saying i don't know what i want my ultimate goal to be sometimes i say 135 sometimes i say 165 y'all i don't know I, i'll know it when i see it i i don't know it i don't know what it is but in my head i'm like whatever gives me a flat stomach whatever number is a flat stomach number that's where I want to be because mama, she don't want that mama good no more, okay? Um, and another thing I'm about to work on is cleaning out my closet because the majority of my clothes, they just... <laughs> Y'all, some of these pants be holding on for dear life. <laughs> I be walking and my pants just... Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm like... Pull them all the way up. I'm like, it's time to get rid of those pants. So I need to go pants shopping, which I'll be doing next one too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Any questions about VSG, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later.